Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil. In the last big episode, we uh we took care of basically everything in the mansion, and now all we have to do is well go back to the safe room, I guess. Because I forgot the other crests. Doi. Alright, so let's take that and this. I do yep, that's everything. Let's go get the fourth crest. By solving a puzzle. Dun dun dun. Don't mind the crows here. They are friendly. Now if we go all the way over here and take a look at this portrait. The picture is entitled The End of Life. There is a switch. Will you push it? No. We have to push them in a certain order. Let's see. I do believe it's this one. A picture of a newborn baby. Yes, we want to push this button first. Let's see. Then we have a picture of a tired middle-aged man. No, we don't want that one. Uh, the other one should be on the other side then. A picture of a young man. Uh, no. A picture of an infant. Yes. The picture of a lively boy. Uh, yes. Then we want the picture of a young man. Yes. The picture of a tired, middle-aged man. Uh, yes. I think I'm on the right track. This one should be a picture of a bald-looking old man. Uh, yes. And then finally, we want to push this button, and if we did it right, puzzle solved. And the star crest is ours! And then the music hits. I find it amazing that the T-Virus has turned like crows into one of the more passive of the infected. So, this begs the question, what the hell did Forrest do to earn their disgust and be pecked to death by them? He must have shot them with the grenade launcher or something. But now we can finally go into this door over here. Luigi, look! A door! And up ahead is a dog. Scooby Dooby, no. I said no. God damn it, no! Three shots? Damn. Anyways, let's start using the crests here. The sun is next, and finally the star. And with that, another puzzle solved. Through the door. And... And with that, the crank is ours. But it's just not any crank. It's a square crank. Neat. We got herbs. Good. We're gonna need them because there are doggos. Okay, I can see how Joseph got his ass beat by these dogs. Because they are tanky little bastards. I didn't want to check that, but since we're looking at it. A Remington M870. A pump action shotgun. Cool. Cool. Oh god. They almost killed me. Man, dogs were no joke. But that's okay. We have these herbs here. We'll be fine. Nom. Good. 
And we cleared this way. Oh, there's also blue herbs, just in case we ever get poisoned. But I doubt that will ever happen. Again, at least. And now we come to a very clean pool, surprisingly. We have a square hole. Use the crank. The square crank. The water is running down the opposite side. Cool. And why didn't we get a CGI draining of the bathtub? Hmm? Didn't want to waste any money on that. I guess not. Man, Chris is not built for ladders. Alright, let's avoid the rain of snakes. Nah, I learned my lesson. I'm good. We got herbs here. More dogs. Oh, God. That's okay. One hit's not gonna do much. And over here, we have blue herbs. But more importantly, we have this to push. Come on now. Chris? Oh, really? Okay, game. There. I pushed it just a slight edge more. God damn it. All because of that stupid tail. exactly want to put it again like ah here we go this should be fine yeah we should be all right there we go but before we do that safe room time i love the safe room music Take the first aid spray. Yes, we'll take the clip as well. Alright, let's go put things away in the chest for now. Like the clip, for example. That can go in there. Actually, you know what? Mm, yeah, we'll switch it up a bit. We'll take the Beretta instead, and we'll take our sweet ammo. We have quite a bit, surprisingly. Let's examine this, since we already looked at the shotgun. A Beretta M92FS, automatic loaded with 9mm bullets. Neat. Alright, combine them with them, and them with them. 47 clips, we should be alright. And we have a first aid spray just in case. Oh, right. I think I need to grab the lighter? No, no. That's remake. God damn it. Stop remembering the remake. Damn you. You'll play that eventually. False drop. False drop. I didn't see him there. Huh. This zombie was actually has a unique animation. He had a limp. Which he doesn't have anymore. Drop. One, two, three, four. Everybody do the flop. Hey, good job. Take the red book. A 
and let's read it. All the pages are blank. What's it for? Chris, you know you can't read. That's your coloring book. That's your little art book, isn't it? There's a key in the cup. Neat. Let's take it with us. You never know. Nothing unusual, says the man finding zombies everywhere. All right, we're gonna go drop off the crank because we don't need it for the time being. And then we'll come back to that room and search, which is most likely the toilet. Wait, this isn't Silent Hill 2. Oh, look, another tub filled with dirty water. Let's unplug it. And we still don't get any CGI cutscene of this. For shame. But in exchange, we do get a key, so I guess we'll take it. Take the sea room key. Nothing major. Yes, let's go through the red doors. Very stylish for a back cabin area. Spiders! No, I don't approve of this. That's ink ribbons, isn't it? Yes, it is. God damn it. I'm about to get poisoned for absolutely nothing. Just kidding. A nine ball. It looks like a clock dial. One, two, four, five. Some kind of code? You'd be right, Chris. Oh god. Oh god. I knew it. Oh god, I'm fine. I hate spiders. Fuck this, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. I'd rather continue, please. That is one thing I'm grateful for with the recent remakes that came out. We really didn't have any spiders. And I hope it stays that way. Alright, let's push this statue. For herbs. Should we grab one? I say yes. But ju only just in case we get bit. If not, we can still chew on one anyways. It's locked. The plate says two. Zero, zero, dos. Do, do. Go over here. There's a panel with the numer with number keys. Will you push the keys? Sure, why not? One, two, four, five. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Redfield. Wait, how do you know my last name? I know more than that, Redfield. I know your browser history. You must die! Something is written on the wall. One plus two- Oh no! Chris's major weakness! Math! Dun dun dun! And empty bottles. We'll leave this place alone. Chris is not a chemical expert. That is a giant beehive. You can't carry any more items. Crap! But that's okay. Heal. Then take the key. A dormitory key. But not just any dormitory key! It says 002 on it. Actually, it says zoo. Get it? Because the, the, the two looks like a Z. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! All right, let's get away from the bees. The bees! No, not the bees! Not the bees! All right, we used the number two key. 
We no longer need it. Throw it away. Alright, through the door. Get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Let's go in here first. Ooh, zombie. Oh, dang it. Did I really just waste bullets just to get more bullets? The answer is yes. So, upon retrospect, nothing actually happened. I did something, but then I did nothing. Oh, look, a map. I will take it. Who just has a dormitory sketch written on, uh, like, just on their wall somewhere like this? Like, yes, this is my way of showing I appreciate art. A fucking map of the entire dormitory right there. That'll show them. Fuck Van Gogh. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T-Virus differently than other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its roots that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the incident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in with the water and promotes the incredible fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of these bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. One sensing movement, plant, oops. Since one sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood, using the suckers located on the back of its vines. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when, it's cr when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. Henry Sartan. Neat. these and let's go down into the basement of this nefarious laboratory here in Dexter's laboratory okay we have another puzzle sort of Aw, oh, man, is it over already? We could have gone with, like, three more seconds of that. What thrilling gameplay. <laughs> oh, this is shit. Oh, I love it, though. I really do love the Resident Evil series, despite all the shit I give it. Except six. Six is the worst. That's just an unforgivable sin. I wanna go, oh, no, 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 leave me alone, it's locked, there's no keyhole, all right. We've used the C-Room key. This key is useless, yes, throw it away. And go through the door before the shark decides to bite on us. There is a lever, will you move it? Yes. All right, water's drained. And there's no alarm. Good. There's a button. Will you push it? Of course. There was a sound from the next room next door. Unfortunately, the self-destruct system was activated. And 
now we can go in here because we pushed the button. So it wasn't the self-destruct button. Good. And we are rewarded with so many goodies like shotgun shells and a key. Whoops, I pushed the wrong button. All right, we got two inventory spaces, so we can take the shotgun shells and our prize, the dormitory key. But not just any dormitory key. It's the number three key, or if upside down, it's the you key. How would you say that? Yo, yo, yo. Maybe. Alright, grab the shotgun shells, 200 cartridges, 8.02 mm NATO M32 cartons, N13 LC83D120232 A111. Cool! Because of how crisp the game is, I can actually read that! In fact, I'm going to actually take a look at these items. Up close and personal. I can heal any wound with this. Oh, Ethan Winters agrees on that statement. Oh, okay, we already looked at that. I want to look at the clip. The clip. No special writing on it. Clips for the Beretta. And let me guess. Just shells for the shotgun. Oh, we got... What's this? I can't read upside down all that well. Armo? Oh, ammo 80% type S. M32 LC830. Oh, cool. Shells for the shotgun. Cool. Alright, that's about it. Now, let's get back to the game. Oh, almost forgot. They are all wet and useless. They are completely useless now. And grab the clip. Danger, radioactive. Oh, that can't be good. Now Chris is radioactive. That can't be good. I wonder what's making that kind of noise. We'll figure it out eventually. It looks like a plant root. Anything here of value? A small key. I don't think we actually need it. Anything in the bag? There's a bag here. Nothing useful inside. Chris says as he sees a skeleton key which will open any door, but he refuses because he's an idiot. And here we have the sharks. The Neptunes. Oddly enough, they were far more intimidating in Outbreak File 1 and Decisions Decisions, where they can push you off the side and get, and cause an insta-death. That. That's just mean. I think insta-death is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I have that problem with the Hunters in Resident Evil 3. Like, they have that stupid insta-death move, and it's like, Oh, fuck you! And I'm like, oh, come on! But now we got the number three key, we can go open up this door. And I'm thinking once we unlock the door, I'm gonna go back for the shotgun because I need to go be prepared. Not to kill Mufasa, but to kill something else. I'm here to kill Audrey too. Haven't you heard? She's a mean green mother from outer space and she is bad. Let's head into the bathroom first, as we always should. Don't want to fight the plant on a full bladder. Zombie! Works every time. Ooh, that was close. That was too close. I was almost a Chris steak. 
again. For nothing. But bullets that I already used. A nothing room. Another one. Great. Let's see. Row of red books. There's one white book. Will you take it? Hmm. Zombie survival guide. Eh, I don't think that's going to be much of use. V-Jolt report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16. One of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this as V-Jolt. In our calculations, it will take less than 5 seconds to destroy Plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a spe specific order to create V-Jolt, but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the poison body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. UM number 2, red, 4 green, 7 white, 13 blue, stimulating smell, okay, uh, purple, yellow, and V-Jolt is brown. Now a book is missing. You can have this one. And that opens a secret passage. What? Oh my god! Wow! Hello, monster. I'm deliberately getting close to you. <laughs> Chris! Rebecca, no, it's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You could... Whoa! Chris! Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion. And kill the root. Rebecca, please. He's kind of crushing my dick right now! Okay, you could have said hang in there or something like that, but don't die. Okay. And then Chris is like, oh my god, that's the last thing I'm gonna hear. Outside of my death curdling. <laughs> but now it's potion time. Miss Rebecca Chambers. My top potion student, go forth and make the potion that's going to kill this bitch. Didn't you know? Rebecca went straight to Hogwarts. Oh no, that's forbidden. Alright, now that we got all the bottles, it's time to make the potion. We are going to need water, because water counts as number one. We're also going to need red and stuff. Four plus three is seven. Four plus two is six. And then 6 plus 3 is 13, I believe. Alright, we have blue. Dabu dee dabu die. Now, what's the next step? 13 plus 3 equals 6. Oh, 16. Okay, so we need a number 2 and a number 1 one more time. One more time! Yeah, that's not dated at all. Number three, combine that, and V-Jolt made. Now let's go kill this bitch.
I wonder, is the duck walk... No, is the... If I mash the running... <laughs> it actually is faster! Da, 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 da. Rebecca, go! Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Gotta go faster, 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 faster! Sonic's number one! Sonic's on the run! Sonic! Gotta watch out for Sonic X! I would've used the actual music, but I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted. Okay. Dump the V-Jolt on the plant root and quest complete. Oh, we actually have to leave. I hope you're dead, Chris. You know, this is actually starting to feel good. A little tighter. Oh, I'm not into that shit. Ow! It's roided out on Redfield fumes. Alright, watch out for acid. We also have to watch out for the tentacles! Tentacles! Alright, uh, let's just combine because my paranoia is gonna make me miscount. Yep, watch out for the acid. Aha! Gotcha! Thank you for saving my bacon, Rebecca. And now, we get the mansion key. One last time, but not just any mansion key. <laughs> Nothing important. No, it's the helmet key. Dun da 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, so much for him. We got to the root of the problem. <laughs> Saint again. I just <laughs> Chris, you really fuck. thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I Not in a million you. years. The fuck, well, Chris? Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago. I think I will be able to make something. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. You know what made me upset? One, she clipped through the this little corner here. And two, people can... 180 in cutscenes, but not in gameplay. That is actually kind of bothering me, and I'm no and I'm mad that I noticed it now. But she's gonna be in there. She's gonna do her healing and whatnot. Wesker. 
Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We are still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. Well, that was fast. Crush the bees. Thank you, Chris. I'm highly allergic. Why can't I crush this one? There we go. And now the the side place, the side lab, is completely done. We go back to the mansion. Alright, uh, do we need to drop anything off? No, we are set. So, let's go. We never have to come back here again. Oh. Our radio's going off. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a This is Chris. Brad, can you hear me? Damn. Reset that little stepladder. <laughs> Zombie just comes into rooms like, hey, that's not supposed to be like that. And then he just pushes it back in place and like, okay, good. Now we're back in the mansion. Now I wish we weren't at the mansion. There we go, he's dead. We use the helmet key. Good. Um... We don't really have space for things, so... Let's go use up the helmet key. Then we'll do some exploring. We also need to kill a bunch of hunters, because they be everywhere. Like so! And one swipe. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm still good. What's this? I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Wesker. Aww. My bro, Wesker, looking out for me. He likes me. Meanwhile, Wesker's somewhere like, I can't wait for Chris to fucking die. I hate that son of a bitch so much. I swear his luck stat must be 10 or something. Now that we're better off with ammo and such, we'll leave the first aid spray here, and we'll take care of more monsters. Hmm. I wonder, if I get their attention... And go down this way. What's with the scream? Ha! Ha 
Go fuck yourself! Ultimate life form, my ass! It's like they know and it's like, fuck! They fucking know. <laughs> Almost identical. Use the armor uh, helmet key here. Sorry. Sheesh, I don't know why I said armor key. I'm getting my keys all mixed up. There are still more hunters to deal with, though. Combine and do that. Alright, let's -a go. Ow, ow. That was stupid, but we're still fine, apparently. Hmm. Could have sworn these guys did more damage. Alright, let's switch to the handgun. Oh, that was a bad idea! Stoop! Hey, hey, hey! There we go. We're still yellow fine. Let's continue on. And head towards the last place, which houses the remaining use for the helmet key. That wasn't too bad, though. Dodge. 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 Damn, I got this down! Let's fucking go! cheating what oh come on that was cheating fine I'll be cheap too dodge 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 Oh, fuck right off. Oh, whatever, you're dead. The helmet key has been used again, and it's now useless. Yeah, we can get rid of it. And this is going to be an important item. But first, let's look at this. Orders. Top secret. July 22nd, 1998, 2.13. A.M. or P.M.? You be the judge. To the head of the security department, X day is approaching. Complete the following orders within the week. Lure the member of STARS into the lab and have them fight with the B.O.W. in order to obtain battle data. Collect two embryos per B.O.W. Type make sure to include all species except the tyrant. And then destroy the Arclay Labs, including all researchers and lab animals in a manner which will seem accidental. White Umbrella. Yeah, they were doing this thing where everything was like red and white umbrella. 
I mean, the movies introduced the, the Red Queen. As much as I don't really like the movies, they did introduce some things that even the games would actually adapt. Like the lasers. Many people would associate that one with Resident Evil 4. But in the Umbrella Chronicles, which is a rail shooter for the Nintendo Wii, there is a literal Resident Evil 1 style, room style laser event with Chris and Jill. I'm not even joking. And now the deer is blind. So the tiger can have full vision. Let's get off the stepladder. And let's go to the tiger room, but we're not going to head down this the stairs because that's filled to the brim with hunters. And I would prefer not to die a horrible death. We're going to go a much more safer way. Yes, there's still some hunters there, but they'll be much more easier to deal with. At least in my personal opinion. You know, with my current weapon setup, I could probably take the zombie dog out in the front door. Just open it up, just let it stick its head out, and BAM! I mean, it's only one. I mean, in the remake, they also make three dogs, so... Okay, let's just run. Thankfully, the hunters in this part are a little slow, so it's alright. Did that get their attention? Yes, it did. Oh, because I, I didn't have enough confidants in myself. And that happened. My brother! Good. You can join him. Okay, and now let's claim our prize. The Magnum, yes. The Cult Python, to be exact. And with that, the tiger statue is no longer of use to us. We can't discard it because it's too heavy. Let's take a look at this. Nice. Magnum rounds loaded. Oh, cool. Well, can I read what it is? Okay, fine. I guess you don't want to, bastard. Bitch! Fucking look at the gun and tell me more model numbers and stuff. Stupid Chris. Stupid Chris. No, oh, let's just go and... Do the areas that I already unlocked with the helmet key. We already did one of them. We got two more areas to go. And here we have a red book that we can't pick up. There's a switch. Yes. Oh, we don't have enough space to take the book. Shit. But we do have magnum bullets. And that's always a good thing. We'll come back for the book. Let's see, another piano. Chris still can't read music. Shoot. Oh, of course, take damage. Oh, I didn't realize how much health I had. Did I get him? Okay, I got him. Good. He's dead. Whew. 
That was scary. Good thing I picked. Good thing I grabbed that first aid spray. It's too dark to see. Will you jump down? Sure, why not? Chris just falls and gets fucking impaled. Good job, Chris. Mission's over. There's a switch below. Will you push it? No, not yet. What does that say? Full Metal Prison? Wait. 11... Nine nine three to one nine nine four one. Am I reading this right? Full Metal Prison. Who the fuck was named Full Metal Prison? I have to be reading that wrong. That that, that can't be it. No. You know what else is I refuse to believe? The fact that they got rid of my sad, crusty music. So you know what? I'm going to edit it so it comes back. I don't care. All right, we're getting shotgun ammo back. Nice. No, I refuse to accept the fact that my beloved crust sad clown music got replaced. Stay down. And that was just for herbs. Great. Okay, I thought he would try to bite me or something. But I guess not. You unlocked the door. Cool. Small key? Yeah, it's small key. I think I'll leave it. It's dusty. It hasn't been used for a long time. I wonder what this way leads. Zombie's first door. Aw, that's adorable. Also, with the way that the shot was in that... I'm surprised the zombie didn't fall down the stairs. Ah, yep, go ahead, bite me. I knew you were gonna, you cheap bastard. I'm still fine. So we're gonna go here first. Oh, we have to go actually to talk to the gate, not the button. zombies two more shots all right through this door all right uh, one shot and I nailed it oh yes this is an importante area Before we deal with this, stupid zombie, read the book, scrapbook, animal attack, woman mutilated, May 20th, around 10 p.m. a 20 year old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the Cider District of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume it had to be a grizzly or other animals doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot in her remaining, on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arclay Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify the woman. Monsters in Arclay Mountains? Well, there is an axe murderer. 
Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arclay Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs and usually run in a pack as wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them, so you smart readers should stay out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out! You wanna try- WHY WOULD YOU ADVERTISE THAT?! Mystery on Arclay Mountains, Mountain Road Blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon Police intend to begin the search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of Arclay Mountains and the primeval force that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. Alright, now to deal with this. And what's this? Ink ribbons, I will take these ones. Because I am running low. And what do we have here? A clip? Nah, we don't need it. We're good on ammo, surprisingly. I can look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port! <gasps> if I could contact the other members from there. If only. If only. Alright, we're not done here yet. There's one more place we need to go. Eh, just curious. Various books. Okay. Push the switch. Ooh, light. Kingdom Hearts is light and a convoluted plot. And here we have... The ammo disc. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I just realized... We don't have any more inventory space, so therefore we need to backtrack. But that's alright. There should be a zombie. I was right. Not anymore! There's a battery here. Unfortunately, like I just said, we don't have the ammo. We don't have the inventory space. Ammo space. Although, I could do something incredibly stupid. I'm gonna do something incredibly stupid. Yeah, battery. Now I can move the elevator in the courtyard. Neat. And that will move us to the next area of the game. Now it's time to go. Chris struts up the stairs like he's about to kick some food out of someone's hand. Right, these are the hunters still. Let's go! <laughs> You What was that? Fucking went Super Mario on me and I was a bullet bill. Sheesh. All right, we are nearing the safe room now. We have to do some organizing with our inventory. But when we return to Resident Evil, it might be the finale. If it's not, it's got definitely going to be a four-parter. But that's okay. Because once we're done with the Chris, Chris the dude, we are going to move on to Jill. So, 
I hope you all enjoyed. This has been Let's Play Resident Evil with Matt, host of the game in Cabana. And I will see you guys later. Bye!